Just on the case of this unnamed 19-year-old soldier who uh, wanted to fight with the Pashmurga and we understand is now being sent back to his unit, uh, it's all uh, taken place within the space of about five days. He was on leave, so can he expect any punishment at all? I think he can, because if he was uh, in northern Iraq, which seems to be where he ended up, he would have been firstly in a prohibited or restricted area, which would in itself be a military offence. Secondly, if he went there as a mercenary, um, he would have uh, fell foul of the additional Geneva Convention Protocol of 1977. That in itself is a civil offence under the Foreign Enlistment Act 1870, but I won't, don't think he'll be, um, he'll be looked at in that sort of civil offence terms. It hasn't been that enacted since it first came in. I think he will uh, be dealt with in a, as a military offence, uh, because he did signal that he was going to be out of the country for a year. He was going to be in prohibited uh, territory. So uh, at the minimum, I would think that he would be looked at under a Section 69 prejudice of uh, conduct prejudicial to good order and military discipline for his actions. Do you think it's well advised to throw the book at him legally in that way, or would it be better to uh, perhaps go a bit more softly? Uh, well, I think that the uh, military discipline system will look at uh, this in a fair, proportionate, effective and transparent ma matter, and it's for the decision makers within that chain of command to determine what his sanctions shall be.